Hi, this is the Soul Hunter and you're watching a video game essay. Boss fights in video games are battles against powerful and often unique enemies that serve as a climax of a level, chapter, or the entire game. But there are a couple of factors which take a boss fight from a random annoying encounter to a memorable and exciting experience which leaves the player not just appreciative of the fight but the difficulty it brought with it, making all the trial and error feel worth it at the end of the battle. So in this first episode of video game essays, we're going to be discussing the factors which affect boss fights in video games. The basic design concept of a boss fight is to test the player for their knowledge and skill at a certain point in the game and to provide a seemingly hard to complete challenge. And there are a couple of ways game designers go about doing that. Most of the time they use size as a factor to instill a feeling of intimidation and fear into the player's mind. Some of the bosses use cutscenes as a form of introduction and build up towards the boss battles. Like how in the first boss of the game, Fury, there is an entire cutscene to set up the first boss fight and also the entire game. Bosses also use attacks or visuals to surprise the player and catch them off guard. For example, in the first boss fight of the game, Dark Souls 3, halfway through the fight, the boss turns into a dinosaur and their movement and attacks becomes more harsh and violent compared to their previous form in which their attacks were more calm. But when it comes to making boss fights engaging, there are a couple of factors game designers use to develop the fight into a more fun experience. One of the factors they use which also affects the gameplay is attack telegraphs. Attack telegraphs in video games refer to the visual or auditory cues that indicate to the player that an enemy or boss is about to perform an attack. By providing these visual or auditory cues, the game is able to communicate to the player the timing, speed, and area of effect of an enemy attack, allowing the player to make informed decisions about how to avoid or counter those attacks. So for example, in Dark Souls 3, Pontiff Suliavan's most dangerous attack is his clone summon where he creates a duplicate of himself that attacks the player. The telegraph for this attack is a glowing purple aura around Suliavan's which indicates when he is about to use his attack. So game designers use these indicators to balance the difficulty of a boss fight. Putting a hard to recognize visual cue will make the attack harder for the player to learn while putting an easy to identify indicator will make the attack easier to spot and learn. The pacing and speed of an attack is a factor which plays a big role in the fight's difficulty as well. Faster attacks will require a good sense of reaction from the player. This is why most people die very early on in the fight against Sans in Undertale because his attacks are very fast and require a good sense of reaction. Also sometimes in boss fights, the pacing of the attacks get progressively harder and harder. This is used to create a sense of progression in the challenge of the boss fight and give the player something harder to overcome as the boss fight goes on. But that's not all what makes a boss fight a memorable or even an engaging experience. There are other factors at play as well. One factor is how boss fights should have a reward worth pursuing. A reward which is very much worth the effort the player put in can leave them with a feeling of accomplishment while a reward which is not worth the time and effort the player put in can leave the flare demotivated and unfulfilled. 
A good example of a rewarding boss fight would be how in the game Bloodborne, defeating the boss Rom rewards the player with a Moonside Lake Key. This key unlocks a new area in the game allowing the player to explore the lake and encounter new enemies and bosses while also giving the player a sense of progression by moving the story forward. A funny yet practically bad example of not having a good reward for a boss fight is described by Video Game Donkey in his Elden Ring video. Look at this dude. He cannot actually turn around to attack you. He is worth 3300 XP. Then you have this guy who can do this, and he can say this, or he can say this, and he has this move too. This guy, who has a ton of health by the way, is worth 3800 XP. Only 500 more than the guy who can't turn around. Balancing a game can be tricky, but by correctly balancing and rewarding the player for what they have put in can really make the effort feel worth it and give the player that motivation and joy to keep playing on. Now it's not just the gameplay that makes the fight feel memorable. The environment and the setting of the fight is also an important factor in selling the feel of the battle. Designing the area in a way that complements the boss, the arena and the story around it enhances the gameplay and submerges the player in it. My most favorite example of this is in the Mantis Lords fight in Hollow Knight. The way the entire area is designed to facilitate the theme is fascinating. The story behind the Mantis Lords is that they are insects of high intellect, which is perfectly portrayed by the structure of the platforms and the way the arena is designed as well. All of that makes it just a wonderful boss fight to enjoy. If you guys have any boss fights which are close to your heart, do let me know about them down in the comments below. Another factor which makes boss fights memorable is the boss theme song. A well composed boss theme song can really bring the battle to life and evoke emotions that really stick with you even when the fight is over. The composition of a boss team usually complements the story, pacing, and the theme of the fight. For example, the theme of Nightmare King Grimm in Hollow Knight perfectly portrays the chaotic and haywire tone of the fight. Or how the Pure Vessel theme in Hollow Knight conveys the holy and regretful tone of the fight which complements the story in a very good way. Or how in the game Will You Snail, in the boss fight against Helpy, the theme refers to a joyful and funny nature of the fight. A well-composed boss theme can invoke emotions that can't just be conveyed through dialogue or visuals. A good boss theme creates a sense of attachment which stays long after the fight has ended, which makes the fight feel much more memorable than just a random fun challenge. So with all the factors which we have discussed, Game designers use these to tick three basic requirements of a good boss fight. They make the boss fight feel challenging and exciting using the mechanics. They make the boss fight feel worth the effort by putting a well-deserved reward at the end. And they make the boss battle momentous using the incredible level design and with a well-composed boss team. So these are all the things I noticed while going through many different boss fights from many different games. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is my first ever full documentary on one of the aspects of game design and it took a hell lot of time to make but it was fun and I would love to make more of these in the future. And your support would mean the world to me. And with that said, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye and take care.